Hello, welcome back, Accidental Thoughts of Common Sense. I just had a, a, a just a, a wild idea that came to mind, and it's pretty much this. Let me see if I can pick my words wisely here. Our history is written all over us. We look in the mirror and we see our history. We don't just see us. We see our mom, our dad, our ancestors. People we may, may never know, have never seen, depending on your background. And some people despise that. And because of that revelation, they want to change the narrative. They want to change them in any way possible. And this is dangerous because you're trying to wipe out a history you see in yourself every day. We have to learn to accept ourselves. We have to learn to love our bodies. Whoa! Love who you are and what you look like. Just because you may have had a bad history with your parents or one of your parents or one of them left or there was a really bad, messy divorce with your parents in the past, doesn't matter who you are. It could be me. It could be you. It could be someone down the street. There's The divorce rate is the highest it's ever been. So with that in mind, I challenge you, don't alter yourself to try to erase a past you're still a part of. You're a living embodiment of the past. Love you, love God, even if you don't recognize him, like I do. And believe you can step up to the challenge and live up to every everybody before you because you're walking in their shoes now in the challenges that life gives are plentiful Life is hard. The world is harder. And it's going to make us or break us. But when you do look in the mirror and you see yourself and you happen to see somebody that was abusive or someone you didn't like or someone you hate, remember to yourself, you're not them. You may have some dis distinguishing features of someone in your past. I look like a lot of my old relatives, let me tell you. Uh, my dad's dad, my mom's dad, my grandfather's, my great-great, my great-grandfather, etc. Um, I look like a lot of my ancestors, and I'm sure you do too. So take it upon the challenge to be your own person. Living in your own skin and loving your own skin and realizing I'm going to do better than what they did. And sometimes that's not always easy because it is a challenge. It is a gauntlet being thrown to each one of us every single day as we wake up and get ready for whatever our we do, our, our work, our job, uh, our life. Things to think about. We each ha have our own health issues. Just because you look like somebody doesn't mean you are them. Make better decisions for yourself. Make this better decisions that affect everyone around you in a positive way. With that, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.